And we're back, as a famous YouTuber likes to say. We have had a nice night's rest in our Undercroft hideaway there. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. There has been talk amongst the gods that you are Dragonborn. Well, I don't Such know if I am or not. Surely that's not possible. Uh, it remains to be seen. So we're going to go and report to Balgroth, and finally we're going to go and give him the axe from Ulfric, so to speak. We're not going to literally axe him or anything, but we are going to tell him what happened, and Good. then we're You're going to hand here. him Ulfric's the axe. Been waiting for you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? The dragon was there, but he destroyed the watchtower. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Well, yeah, but it doesn't really matter at this point. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. I heard that, yes. I believe that that's what Masters I heard anyway. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. I knew it was coming from up there. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. That might be you worth doing at some point. Summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? Yeah, I did. That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Hrothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Hmm. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this... what? Dragonborn. Preventus, you're such a snort nonsense. Snot. Why, you puffed up ignorant. That too. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. Of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business. It is. Not ours. Whatever yeah, happened sir, when you killed um, that dragon? Excuse me. It revealed uh, something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. I got this thing for if you. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? Yeah, yeah. You've done a great service for me and oh my dear, city. Oh no, not dragonborn. another reward. You're gonna make me By feel my guilty. Right is Jarl. I name you Thane of White Run. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. <sighs> I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl. No. And this no. weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I can't I'll take I'll also Lydia. notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? Ah. Uh, we are honored to have you as thane of our city, Dragonborn. I envy you. Well, sir. You, you know, to climb the seventh out. May the gods I'm, watch over your battles, I'm friend. so sorry to do this, but I have to bring this to you. Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak asked me to... Axed me to deliver his axe. Did he now? Huh. The man is persistent. I'll give him that. Hmm. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. <sighs> All right. Proventus, what do you make of all this? All this standing around is rubbish. Attack, why you should be taken to fight to the storm? As in all things, Lord. Caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irileth. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward. That is Torig. not Ulfric's way. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King. But neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. 
Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. Yes, he True. will, sir. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Ferventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. <sighs> Was it cowardly then Why to did accept you the white gold concordance? Place such a man again. as your advisor. That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it. God, this isn't about gold. Slapped. It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. Yes, he is, sir. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. Mm -hmm. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. I shall, sir. Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. <sighs> Are we writing a letter, Lord? Yes. If I may say. What is it that you need? I just want to say I think you're a good man, and I'm sorry that we will be on opposite sides. That's all. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. All right, well, we're going to leave poor Lydia here because, well, we all have. has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Well... Until next time. Until next time, Lydia. If you're looking for the court defend wizard, your city you'll well. find him somewhere in that. So we have a mission to return the axe to Ulfric. But let's uh, let's take a look at our quest journal here and just see what other things we have. So message to White Run. We have to deliver the axe back. The Way of the Voice. Speak to the Greybeards. I don't think we're going to be doing that anytime soon. Uh, the Delayed Burial thing we're going to avoid. We've already done three. So I think it's time to collect at least one more dungeon on the way back to to Whiterun. And what other kind of... Uh, let's see. Mzinch left. Yeah, that, that's the archaeologist's uh, quest there. We'll, we'll leave that for a while. Uh, I do have a dungeon in mind. It's it's kind of on the way, but on the way down through the city here, uh, let's see let's see if we can find some more of the, the people who Mister, offer jobs. Could you spare a coin? You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Hmm. I sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. Ah, uh, you probably did, but. Uh, were you arguing about something to do with mercenary work? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. Hmm. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. And so what do you propose? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels... I'd be grateful to you. I can do that. I can do that. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. Okay, so we have two possible. Are you married? You look the type. Make sure you treat your wife with the respect she deserves. Oh, if I had a wife, I would do that. But since I don't, come to chat with an old woman. I can only treat Uthgird with the respect that she deserves. Come along, Uthgird. Let's go do something important. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Or at least lucrative, anyway. Uh, but before we do, I do have a steel ingot. So let's see if I can improve my sword here. Um, Got some good pieces out here. That should be good. That's a decent weapon you've made there. And I have a steel ingot for my bow. That will give us a little bit of leveling. 
You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. And we'll pay good money for information. I, uh... No. I don't think so. We will find her eventually. Yeah, you probably will, but not, not through me. Hmm. What do I need to improve my armor here? Oh, I have I don't stuff. claim to be the best blacksmith. All right. Whiterun. Well, let's do that. I only have one leather, but at least I can make my cuirass a little better. Man's steel is legendary. Um, All I ask is a fair chance. I. Th oh, that's right. I was going to sell that. So let's see. Have you see. met my father? He's a stoop. I help my father in more ways. Let's Take see what a look. we can sell to you. Hmm. Oops, wrong column. Let's see. High armor, imperial studded armor. We sure don't want that. We don't want this helmet of minor illusion. We're gonna keep the helmet of archery, even though it was. I mean, it was a gift. It was earned. It was earned, and it, it will help me think of Balgruf fondly. So I'm gonna keep that and sell this silly little helmet here, and then. Let us buy a little. Well, no. Let's first just don't forget very to check inside the shop if you need anything. Try to make some leather, and that's not going to happen. All I have is crappy pelts here, but at least we can tan them into something. Uh, wolf and goat hide. So we have some laces. You think all the counsel my father provides the Jarl is his alone? Huh. Let's just say I advise the advisor and leave I it can down. lose. Don't need any linen wraps. And you seem to think Out yourself awfully simple, awfully important. The uh, finest weapons and armor. Let me buy a little bit of leather, if you have any. Yes, a 51, so just two of them. Just enough to maybe improve my... Helmet a bit. I'll take my leave then. And maybe my gauntlets. Oh, well, at least the gauntlet. Oh, that's right. I can't improve the helmet because I don't have that perk. Well, at least I can get my gauntlets a little better. Good enough. All right. That's all we need to do. So, come on, Earthgird. Let's get out of here. And let's see where Amran's sword is located. Oh, I, I haven't. Let's see, is that a miscellaneous? Yes, it is. So, we'll do that. We'll go to the map. Oops. Remove. So it is over at, oh, it's at Halted Stream. Interesting. That's a tough dungeon. I was. It's usually over here at Redoran's Retreat. Um, well, Halted Stream might be fun. Uh, there is something there that Manfred can't use, unfortunately. But uh, come on, Uthgird. Let's go try our hand. Can just ride out this way since it's to the north. We'll do a little quick save here. I do like the green look to the tundra here. This is uh, again thanks to this Vidush Brum grass mod that I have loaded in, which I really do think is good. I, you know, the, uh, since we do talk about mods here on Skyrim Fits and Starts, there are several pretty decent grass mods. I know people are well uh, acquainted with mods like Skyrim for Overhaul, which I, I do admit to liking. I like the Lupin in particular, but I don't like some of the other things it does. I don't like the trees and things. Um, but it's also kind of taxing. Uh, like so many mods like like that are. Ooh, it looks like... Oh, I know what that is. That's Those flashes are often when you have an ENB loaded. Certain things like carriages and stuff will flash. Never have quite figured that out. There are reasons, and I'm sure you could Google it up and figure what they are. Uh, there is Halted Stream. So let's... Um, 
let's just hop off the horses up in this little copse of trees here. Um, so there are other grass mods. There's uh, uh, Verdant, there's Unbelievable Grasses. I believe that one's been taken off the Nexus, though. Um, and there are there are several others. This one I I liked I liked the textures almost immediately. I like the uh, they're simple. They they look good. They're grass. Um, they look like real grass. I like the the you know they blend nicely with the the sort of the vanilla uh, forest floors and things. Um, so let us see first of all. We're going to poison the bow, see if we can get a good shot in on somebody. Um, did we? We haven't leveled up now. Okay. Um, try to get a good shot in on at least the first victim here, who would be right there. So that's good. Now we're going to quick save at the beginning of the battle here. Skyrim belongs to the Nord. Over here. Take this guy out and run around the side here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where's the mage? There he is. Get those mages, you gotta run right up on them quick. All right, looks like we took out the first wave there. Excellent. Let's see if we can find this Khajiit who is... There he is. What have you got on you there, sir? Just iron arrows. Nothing good. And what do you have? Iron arrows, skull, nothing good. Lockpick, that's worth having. Copper Moonstone. Circlet, always nice to have things to sell. There is a chest under here with a little trap on it. So, uh, let's unlock it. I, I have a... How many lockpicks? Oh, I have plenty. Let's try that spot. Excellent. Alright, what's in here? Corundum. I don't think... I think I have anything right now that requires, but I got plenty of carry weight. That's good. All right, so there, another potion of healing there, and that should be good. Let's get inside here, and we'll drop another quick save since we don't have auto saves turned on. This one, I think, I'm going to try to take him out on sneak, and, and that's done. I want to save, look, ooh, ooh, whoops, ah, sorry about that, dear. Um, I want to save Uthgird for the bandit chief here. And, yeah, we don't need any mead, but this guy probably has the key on him, right? He does. We're going to stick to the sword, I think. Manfred is more of a swordsman than an axe man. So, let's poison up this bow one more time. Weak paralysis? No. Frostbite venom, yes. Um... Now, if we can get down here just far enough to get a bead on the chief. I know he has an assistant. Get ready. Trouble ahead. Yes, I know, dear. I know. Where is the chief? He's usually standing right over there. Is that him? Yes. I believe that is him right there. Good. Excellent. Now we'll switch over to the sword. Get behind Uthgird. Now and let's. You're a fool to fight me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ouch. 
Ouch, I did somewhere. not see that second storm mage there. All right. So, bad strategy. I should have stayed back. I should have stayed back with the bow. So how are you doing, Uthgird? All right. You know what? I am going to give you... Oh, I'm such an idiot. Uh, talk to Uthgird. Let's get going. And then give what her do you some need to things. Take? Don't take them yourself, moron. All right. So I'm going to give you a minor, a couple of minor healing potions and a couple of fortifies. I don't know if you'll use fortifies, but we'll give it a shot. Um, then I am going Let to poison my bow again. Go. All right. Oops. So again, we're going to try to get up on the chief here. Get ready. Trouble ahead. A Skyrim dodge. Now I am going to stay back. We're going to poison the bow one last time. Try to get a good bead on... Now I'm going to have to use my sword. Oh, and we're going to have to run now. Run You're like the wind. We will get out, and then we'll come back in quickly. Maybe enough time to get the paralyzed potion placed on the sword. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Uthgird's out with me. Good. All right. And steel sword. Yes. Drop a quick save and head back inside. What was Damn that? it. Why am I missing so much? He's got a he's got some kind of hammer of shock there. That's pretty intense. Poor Uthgird. And that's four dungeons. And what was that? The Iron Warhammer of Shock Blasts. Wow. That's something Uthgird might be able to use, too. I will give that to her, for sure. Steel arrow. Now, wasn't there one more bandit in here? Or did we get them all? We didn't. I thought so. So where are you, sir? Is someone there? Two of them. Got one of them. Well done, Uthgird. Well done. I think I helped a little bit, though. Alright, what do you got? Oh, no, I don't want to pick you up. Brigand plate harness. No, I am wearing the storm cloak. And that is all there is to it. And it's not worth picking up to sell either. What do you got here? Ultra 
poacher's axe, a shovel, I'll take back one of my arrows. What does the poacher's axe do? Three points of extra damage to enemies. No, don't need that. And here is that most excellent, if one is a mage. Uh, I will take it and sell it, though. Warrior potions worth selling. A couple of healing potions. Potion of Defender and Strength. All good sellable potions. Let's see what's in here. And a Shield of Major Blocking. Now that is worth my keeping since it's light and Amran's family sword. Um, that's what I never, you know, I haven't checked. I, d I don't Yes, it is light armor. So I am going to, and I was using a steel heavy armor shield, so I'm going to drop that, which is, or maybe I'll sell it. I'm going to unfavorite it anyway. I'm going to favorite this. And we're going to put that on three. Um, that's good. Excellent. Then we're going to give Uthgird. Let's get going. That war hammer, which is pretty cool. What do you need to take? Let's see what you've got. You have that ancient great sword of cold, which does 28 damage plus 5 of frost to health and stamina. You also have that, which does 30 plus 5. And then I have for you this. That does 32. Six damage for ten seconds. I think. I don't know if you're going to take that or not. We'll see if you use it. If you don't, uh, we might have to take away a couple of your other things. I'd like to try seeing if you like to use that. Um, then let us Le just look a little farther. On at your stats. I do not remember. Yes, your two-handed is higher. All right, so so definitely want to keep you with the two-handed weapons. That's what I thought. Um, all right, good. All right. Come along, Uthgard. We have done our... Oh, wait, I think there's a chest in here that I need to... forget whether it has a trap on it or not. Eh, some septums worth having. All right. And was there other ore in, or uh, ingots in here? There were no other ingots, just iron ore, which I'm not going to transmute. So we have enough. Mammoth tusks, I think I'm going to take a few of those for Isolde because Manfred has his eye on Isolde. She's awfully cute. And let's see, nothing else here worth taking. I already checked out the bandit chief. So we're off. Good. That's one more Dungeon down, one of four of ten now. Now, it seems to me before I died the last time that I heard a level up sound, but now I'm still only halfway through level six. I don't know what that was all about. Maybe it was just my imagination running away with me. Okay. Come on, Uthgird. Let's go grab the horses. So thanks for tagging along. And we'll call that an episode. Hmm. That might be worth grabbing some leather. And here comes a wolf. All right, and 
the skeever. I think Uthgard can take care of the skeever. Uh, I want to keep my bead on that caribou there. Let's see if we can get a good pelt out of this. Come on, now I have a dwarven knife. I should be able to get a good pelt with that. Or have I just... Oh, there's two, two dead elk and a dead wolf. All right, let's get some experience here. Field dress, skin. Excellent, I'm improving. Good, elk hide. Now I got some leather. Um, the meat... I think I'll pass on the meat. Just too heavy. And skin, excellent. All right, and dispose. I am definitely leaving a lot of ingredients behind, but again, um, Manfred is not... How can I get good elk hides but not good wolf hides? Eh, anyway. Uh, Manfred is, is just not going to do a lot of alchemy. It's just not his way. So, did the horses run away? Probably did. Being smart horses. There is the... Nope, that's Uthgurts. There he is. I'm just going to have to learn to whistle for you. Alright, so... We now have some more leather. We can do some things with that. Make some more improvements. And think about what our next perk point is going to be. After this, I believe we're going to head off to... Can I... No, I can't. Not from horseback. Um, we are going to head off to White River Watch, I think, and do that little dungeon on our way back to Windhelm. So, until then, this is Manfred and Uthgird in the shadow of the beautiful Dragon's Reach castle, as it were, saying thanks for joining us for Skyrim Fits and Starts again, and until next time, uh, we'll see you later.